hello everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you all are having a fantastic day today is a huge makeup haul so I was on a project tin pan and no buy and then I released myself and I went a little cray so um, this is a collective haul. I've got ColourPop, I've got Sephora, I've got the drugstore, I've got um, like high-end like Nordstrom, all of that. So let's jump into it. Let's start out with the first couple of products from the drugstore. I did finally purchase the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in Creamy Vanilla. And most of these products I have used already, so I can kind of give you little mini reviews. We can chit chat about them a little bit as I haul them right now, because I find that those are really helpful, those kind of videos, when people have actually used the product first. But um, I love me a good haul too, don't get it wrong. But <laughs> this is kind of a haul plus mini reviews. However, on this product, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I still kind of want to do a review video dedicated to this because there's some specific tips that I use to make this foundation work and look beautiful and last a long time. I love that it comes with a pump. In short, I think it would be fabulous for people with oily skin, people with normal to dry skin. You might have to do some, you know, extra moisturizing or definitely, definitely use some type of makeup sponge, a beauty blender or whatever to apply this. But let me know if you, if you guys want a dedicated review. I think I want to do one because this is the, one of the only foundations that I'm like, do I like you? Do I hate you? Are you okay? And I'm, am I obsessed with you? Like, I can't figure it out. Okay, so another thing, and I got this at Target, and I'm trying, okay, a couple, one thing, at least in this, um, no, two things, at least in this haul are not cruelty-free. You guys know that I'm kind of transitioning into cruelty-free makeup. I'm not purchasing any more items makeup items that are tested on animals however i did purchase a couple before i went cruelty free but this is cruelty free and it is from target now i have tried the nug face mask and i like them but it's not like i will always have an arsenal of them i'm not that obsessed with them but this lip mask is so cool this is it's just called the lip mask by nug it has shea butter coconut oil licorice root complex it's supposed to hydrate soften and help plump your lips it's super cute and this saves your lips so how i apply this is when i first sit down to do my makeup in the mornings and your lips are going to look some kind of funky they get this weird white film over it just leave it on like you would a face mask and then after 20 minutes you see it it smells good. After 20 minutes or so, wipe it away with the tissue and your lip products will apply so bomb. Your lips stay hydrated the rest of the day. I definitely recommend this little booger and I feel like I will always have it at my house because I love it that much. Okay, so the next thing, let's go from completely drugstore to ridiculously priced stuff. Um, okay, a while back I saw Jaclyn Hill rave about the, what is this, La Prairie? No, La Mer Foundation. And I will annotate this specific name, but I got three little samples of that foundation. Um, I got ivory, linen, and porcelain. I think that if you are fair to light skin, you're not going to be able to find a good match for you in the La Mer Foundation. It just... All three of those, even porcelain, was a little bit dark on me. Um, but I personally did not think it was worth, I think it's $85. So I had bought the foundation, but I also got sent samples. So before opening the foundation, I tried these samples out. And I just don't think it's worth $85. I just don't. The closest thing it reminds me of is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, the Serum Foundation. That's like half the price and it works just as good. I actually like the Tarte one a little bit better than the La Mer. So I took back the foundation and I got the finishing powder that I think it's Tati from Glam Life Guru talks about this. Actually, I've heard multiple people talk about it. The La Mer Finishing Powder in Translucent. Now this... 
This was expensive too. This was like $60, but it's, it's huge. I feel like I will never have to rebuy this again. I'm going to keep it. I like it. However, I don't think it's worth the price. Honestly, I the RCMA powder works just as good. The only difference is the RCMA powder works for um, dry under eyes, but not severely dry under eyes. This one will work if you have some severely dry under eyes. It's very um, luminous looking, but it doesn't accentuate your fine lines under there, but it kind of brightens up and lifts your under eyes. So I do like it. I don't think that you need to run out and buy it though. So I caved and got the By Terry. Now this is a limited edition sun designer palette in light and tan vibes. I got this on Beautylish and they have like where you can pay it out over three months, which is the bomb. Um, but this is beautiful. It works beautifully. They're very pigmented, but blendable, easy to use. The By Terry products are so top of the line. I love their blushes, but it's $70 for one blush. And with this, you kind of get these bronzy shades. You get a couple highlight shades thrown in. You can use this as a blush or mix them all together and make a blush. This was like 80 or 85 and so I paid like 15 more dollars than I would buying a blush by Bye Terry, you know, and it's limited. Everybody was talking about it. I had to buy it. I just had to. Another thing that I picked up from Beautylish is the RMS Buriti Bronzer. This is gorgeous, you guys. It's cruelty free. It's amazing. It blends into your skin like skin. You will look, I'm not wearing it today, but you will look like you have a natural contour to your face. Your face will look naturally slimmer and it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. I love a BB cream and this. That's like the bomb to me. This is so pretty. It can work. It pulls a little bit red. It has a little bit of a red, red tinge to it. So it kind of works as a blush and bronzer and it just makes you look sun-kissed and it's absolutely stunning. Definitely recommend that. So let's go to what I got from Sephora, which is a lot. I got this when it first came out and I know Sephora is not cruelty free anymore. This is one of the things I got before I went cruelty free, but it's a good, good product. If I had to, I mean, if I had to choose between the Sephora one and the RMS one, I would choose the RMS one all day, every day, but this one is $20 more. This product is just like the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation. That's the same texture and formula. It, um, it does pull a little bit warm tone on me for my liking, but I think it's a really great product and I hope they come out with blushes in this line. That would be awesome. I picked up a powder foundation and it is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation and it smells delicious. Mine's in the color light. I've actually really been loving foundations, duh, powder foundations these days um, or even if I put a really thin layer of foundation on or CC cream, um, I like to top it with a powder foundation just to kind of set my T-zone, maybe clean up my contour or whatever, and I've really enjoyed this one. I think this is a really good product. I really do. I, I mean, I've used it every single day that I've worn makeup since I've got it, so, and it smells divine. Now, I have already done a review on this product. This is the Ciate The Fun Palette. I didn't do a review. I did a first impressions, and this palette is so fun. I will link my first impressions up here because I did use a whole, whole bunch of these eyeshadows in that video, but can we just talk about how it winks at us? Like, wink, wink, how you doing? Besides the adorable packaging, the inside are colors that really scream summer to me, and I love them. I love this green popped on the lower lash line. It is the most stunning green. I actually like the blue even on the lower lash line as well. I mean, they're all wonderful. What I have on today is just this in my crease, this transition color in my crease, and something else that I'll mention. But I've really, really liked this palette, and it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it's only like $35, I think. It's a great value for non-eyeshadows, so I definitely recommend this. 
Sephora always gets me with their 100 point perks or their little coupon codes and one of their coupon codes was for this Benefit Boing concealer. It says it's an industrial strength concealer and it was the cutest, it's the cutest little sample size that I think I have ever seen in my life. Isn't it adorable? This would be so perfect to take on vacation. It even has a little mirror in it. Yeah. The actual concealer is really great too. I do not like this under my eyes. I tried it a couple days and it looked super cakey. Everything gives me trouble under my eyes. But this, this consistency of it in a pot for some reason really looks really crepey under my eyes. But I did like this for concealing my face, like my redness or around my nose. So I definitely like this product. Don't think they are cruelty free though. But I did like that. Another thing is the Tom Ford Black Orchid. This was, I think, 100 points. It's a roller ball. It's like a miniature roller ball. And um, Black Orchid is my favorite perfume ever. It's the only perfume I've bought more than once. And I love it. And I love this little roller ball because I can have it in my purse because nine times out of ten, I leave the house without putting perfume on. And then the 20% off ColourPop sale just did me in. I made like a $30 order so I could get free shipping. Duh. I think I might have went over. I'm not sure. But I did get a few products. And the first one is this. And this is what I'm wearing as my contour-ish -ish shade today. It's the ColourPop Sculpting Stick. And it is in the color Renaissance. It says it's new. I don't know, but this is really awesome. It is a little orange tone, so I kind of use it as my contour, but I blend it up and kind of warm up the whole perimeter of my face. With this, it's a stick formula, which is amazing. I find that it's really quick and easy. So for five bucks, I definitely recommend this product for sure. I've already mentioned these in favorites, but you have to get the satin lips from ColourPop. This is in Little Stitches. I have another one in Molly. I will insert swatches of the two. Molly is a pink. Little Stitches is a nude. This satin formula just, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It does dry down to a matte, which sounds weird, but it is not drying whatsoever. I highly recommend if you're going to order anything from ColourPop, try, find a color in the satin. Now, they don't have a lot of colors yet. But I'm sure they will. But find a color in the satin liquid lipstick form and buy it. You will thank me. And my recommendation would be Molly, 100%. And then I got a few eyeshadows. This one is the one that I have been wanting since this quad came out. It's the ColourPop, no, Kathleen Lights Collaboration. And it's in the color Weenie. I can't remember if this was the Where the Light Is or Where the Night Is, but now they sell them separately. So I got Weenie. It is the most beautiful rose gold. I have it on my lids today. It's amazing. I've used it a lot. You can already tell. I mean, I've used it a lot this week and I really like it. So yes, yes, yes. Another one I'm obsessed with is Belladonna Lily. I've already mentioned this in a favorites. It's amazing all over the lid. I will link a video up here um, showing if you want to see what this looks like on the lid. I will link a video because I wear it in one of my past videos and it's so pretty. And then this one I wasn't sure I was going to love, but I'm obsessed. It's the color Waddles. It's a really great one single shadow eye lip. Put it on the lid, blend it into the crease, and go. So I definitely recommend Waddles. And then this highlight, this is what I have on today. It's Dreamcatcher. And I haven't heard a lot of buzz about Dreamcatcher, but it's stunning. It is more of a yellowy gold highlighter, which I typically kind of stay away from, but I'm digging it. I really am. And for the summertime, it's really pretty. It's like a J-Lo glow, which we all want. And and then I got a bundle from Honest Beauty. It's $50 and you get three products. And I really wanted to try, Honest Beauty is Jessica Alba's makeup line. I really wanted to try some products from them. They are cruelty free. And I think $50 is pretty good for three products. So I got the Everything Tinted Moisturizer, the oil-free version. I have used this and I actually love it. It's one that you can build up and make look like foundation or you can apply it straight from your hands and it looks like a very sheer tinted moisturizer. So I definitely, I'm glad that I picked that up. Let me know if you wanted a dedicated review about this or maybe I can use 
all three of these products together, the Honest Beauty stuff. And then the blush I'm wearing today is by Honest Beauty, and it's the color Truly Exciting. It's a really great cream blush formula. I mean, if I had to pick, I would get the oil-free moisturizer. I like that a little bit more, but showing you the mirror isn't going to help you. This is just a really pretty neutral everyday kind of pulls a little bit peachy of a blush and it works beautifully and it lasts all day and it's super lightweight. So, so far those two things have been a hit as well as this actually. I haven't played out, played with this a lot. It's the Honest Beauty Truly Effortless Soft Sand Eyeshadow Trio. So I got all three of these for $50. Um, I played with it a little bit but not a lot. So I will definitely keep using it. They performed pretty good. I only used it once or twice, and from what I remember, I had to blend for a while. But I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on this as I continue to use it. And then um, I got some uh, samples from Silk Naturals. It's a vegan, cruelty-free, natural brand makeup. And I really haven't used these a lot. One product that I have used is the foundation from them, the HD foundation by Silk Naturals, and I, it did not work for me. So I wouldn't recommend this. I'm going to continue to play with these powder, loose powder formulas, and I will let you know. One thing I did love was this Smooth and Full Lip Balm by Silk Naturals. I want to say this was like $3, and I mean, it's really, really good. So, I do like that just as a chapstick or balm. And then, the last few things were actually sent to me by Octoly, which is a platform for YouTubers. If you are a YouTuber or a blogger, let me know below or, or click on my link because basically, they will send you products to review. It's not sponsorships, but they just send you products. That way, you can kind of tell your viewers about them and your thoughts, whatever, etc. So, I've already talked about these, and I actually did a dedicated video on these products. So, I will link that. It's the Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops. They are amazing. Definitely recommend them. Um, Pure Minerals had sent me their, what is this called, Glow Together Bronzer. It's a really great bronzer, but you know what I love about it the most is how big it is because it's like giant. It seriously is. It's the same size as my face, pretty much, and my face is big, but it is half matte and half shimmer. I have this all on my neck today, and I kind of warmed up my face with this after I put the cream bronzer on, but I definitely... Definitely like this product a lot. Now, one from Octoly that I haven't got to play with a ton yet, and I don't have a full review on, is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Such a cute name. I will say this one smells amazing. I think it's supposed to tighten your skin. So, I will definitely keep you guys up to, up to date if this works or not, but I do like the way it smells. It's a really great body moisturizer. And the last thing was sent by Octoly as well. It's the new Burt's Bees BB Cream, and I really like this too. You guys will have to let me know if you want me to do a demo and full review on this, but I think it's a great BB Cream from the drugstore. Is it long lasting? Is it going to last you 12, 16 hours? No, it's a BB cream, but it has great coverage. Um, I will say this is kind of tricky for me because it, it pulled a little gray tone and mine is the lighter of the two. I think there's only two shades. Mine's in the color white and it was a little gray tone, but still I liked it as a BB cream. It gives um, sheer to light coverage depending on how you apply it. And it definitely hydrates, honestly, and it has SPF 15. So let me know if you want a full demo or whatever of that as well. And that is it for this haul. Finally, I know it was a huge haul. I know. Ironically enough, the same day I filmed this haul, I'm filming a Project Pan video and I'm starting a new note by. So hold me to it. And that is it. I'll talk to you all very soon. Let me know any of these products that you want to see full reviews on or demos, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.